Sometimes it's hard to wrap your head around why silver is so valuable. Today I will show you why. We've used silver for thousands of years. Jewelry, artifacts, and food utensils have been found in silver dating back to ancient civilizations. It's believed as early as 700 BC, merchants were using it as a way to exchange value for goods and services. In 1792, Congress based the US currency on the silver dollar, where it was used until 1965. 200 years almost. Silver was used as currency and a means for trading for a long time, but it wasn't until modern times and the help of technology that silver's individual properties really begin to shine bright. Enter industrial silver. Solar panels, water filtration, electrical contacts and conductors, mirrors, window films, photography, X-rays. Silver is also used in bandages and wound dressings as a disinfectant. During this time of industrial strength, silver went from a luxury item that one would find on a fine dining table or around a neck to an industry essential. This created a very different need for silver. Silver has one of the highest conductivity of all metals, including copper. Copper is only used as a more cost-effective way. And as the world is beginning to become more and more energy conscious, silver has a big part to play in that as well. With almost 100 million ounces being predicted to be used in solar panels next year in 2015. Silver polymer sheets are quickly replacing the glass based solar panels as they are 30% less expensive to produce and much more easier to install. By incorporating silver into items like shirts and shoes, odours are reduced and the antiseptic properties of silver means that bacterial and fungal infections are reduced. This unique metal is still in the process of turning from a luxury want to industrial need. When something is mined from the ground, it takes many man hours and a lot of capital and running costs. It's this process that puts a high value on silver. If the grass from your lawn had these properties, not much human energy would be needed to collect it. However, it takes diverse and large-scale silver mines to delve deep into the earth we live in to extract this precious metal. The real joker in the pack is that silver is effectively wasted, and I put that word in quotations. Unlike gold, which is always recovered and reused, the lower value of silver means that much of the industrial use is simply forgotten about once the product is made and sold. Landfill is full of old mobile phones and electronics which have this precious metal in it. Because of this wastage, more silver is needed to be mined to keep accessible above ground stock levels reasonably high to make sure industry does not run out. You only have to look at the silver content in junk silver which the face value was tied to for a long time. Now the silver content in the money is worth more than the face value of the coin. Large investor backed companies spend millions of dollars and research trying to find locations of old shipwrecks in the hope that a large amount of silver and other precious metals will be found down there that they can bring up and sell. It is this time, effort and energy that gives silver its value. I go back to the grass example. If it's easy to find and extract, the value is low. It's the amount of energy and the cost that goes into extracting the metal that gives silver its value. Silver's strong industrial use predicts much more usage in the following years, and as people turn more and more to disposable electronics and solar power, it will only get higher and higher. However, no one knows what the next discoveries for silver will be and where they will take the metal. Who knows how much the metal will be needed, and more importantly for people like us, where it will take the metal's price. There's a lot of us here that would not be able to run a marathon, but we all can take steps. It all starts with one step, 
Every marathon runner has to take that initial step, followed by another one. 